everybody, Phoenix Fire Soul here. I just wanted to say before the video starts that there is some audio problems and for that I apologize. I've been having technical difficulties all morning trying to record this video. As I mentioned in the beginning when I start, I actually ended up losing my first file that I recorded of this due to it becoming corrupted. So there have been technical difficulties all morning. My audio is terrible. For that I apologize but it will be up to standard by the time you watch the next video. So please keep that in mind while you're watching. Again, I'm really sorry but it will be back to normal next time round. Enjoy the video. Hey everybody, Phoenix Firesaw here and welcome to Resident Evil 7. I'm very excited to be playing this. I had already done a previous recording but unfortunately the file had become corrupted so I'm gonna have to start all over again and I've Definitely learned from past mistakes. I will not be wearing a jumper this time around because I freaked out too much last time and ended up getting really hot. So, let's start from the very beginning and we'll do it again. Hey baby! I just wanted to send a quick hello and I love you. Oh, good news! I'm gonna be coming home soon. Yay! Oh, I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job and come home to my loving husband. I miss you. Oh, I gotta get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Bye, baby. shouldn't have all I can say is that if you get this stay away It's, uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You all right? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. Maybe it's a prank. She wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. All right. So yeah, last time I made the mistake of wearing a jumper while I was playing this, and honestly, I freaked out so much that I ended up getting so hot, and I had to stop halfway through my recording just to take my jumper off. Because it, it was very uncomfortable. I was freaking out. Um, in fact, I was talking about my first experiences with Resident Evil. I've been playing all the way back since Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. This is the place. Which, I mean, I thought the third one freaked me out. I remember getting the fourth one for Christmas. All the way back on PlayStation 2. And I loaded it up on Christmas Day to play it. And um, freaked out so bad for anybody who's played Resident Evil 4. You walk up to that house and Leon sees somebody move around inside the house and I freaked out so bad I turned the game off and I didn't play it again for four months tried to convince myself it was just a game and there was nothing to be scared of managed to do so got through the game realized it wasn't that scary um the fifth one didn't freak me out too badly the sixth one was pretty all right and then I got to this one and I was trying to do my first playthrough and I was freaking out it was scary I was pretty petrified my heart rate by the end was incredible so seeing as I had to do another run through because of the corrupted file I decided that this time just for the lols I would be recording my heart rate every five minutes because I'm not gonna lie when I say to you guys that I really freaked out last time
found that quite creepy, that whole join us thing. Alright, stop for the first heart rate count. Still pretty normal, a little bit above. In all honesty, I made the mistake of drinking a coffee prior. In fairness though, I didn't realise I had to be re-recording this, and coffee and horror games for me do not mix very well. So I can imagine the heart rate's going to be pretty high on this one. I'm worried that if I move too quickly, I'm going to end up like bumping into him around corners and such. But I mean, game mechanics probably state that he disappears the moment you see him. This was pretty messed up. That I mean, it's kind of gross when you think about it. Oh, yeah, you see, I know what's installed already, and I am honestly, I'm already starting to sweat and freak out, and I can feel my heart rate rising already. By the time I actually get inside this house, my heart rate is probably going to be way off the roof. I kind of roughly know what I'm doing, so I think I'm going to try and run a little bit so I at least get a little extra done this time around compared to what I got done last time. So, as far as I'm aware, we picked up that, yeah, Mia's driver's license, and we have the printout of the email that Mia sent us. I just, I just want to know where that guy went, because it's, um, it's a little creepy. Gosh, I can feel my heart rate picking up. That coffee, that coffee was not wise. Uh... Oh no. Oh, creepy. Yeah, the heart rate's rising. I am honestly gonna try and seen as like kind of already know the beginning, but I'm Ah, oh, it still gets me. I'm gonna try to get through this as quick as possible. Exact reaction. What's that? I'm so scared I'm going to turn around and there's going to be like somebody standing there. Oh. Oh. This is so. Despite the fact that I already came through this section, it is still so gross and manky. I mean, oh. I don't like the sound of them walking around. It's freaking me out. Not sure if me shaking or the game shaking. Alright, yeah, the heart rate's already starting to climb into the 90s. Um, in fairness, I'm not really going to blame it too much on the coffee because my first run through was pretty much this bad. Um, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to say I'm a coward or anything, but this game is pretty well made and it is freaking me out a bit. I 
I just, I'm, I'm going to try and get through it a little bit quicker. But honestly, man, honestly, it's, honestly, it's still kind of catching me quite a bit. Um, despite the fact that I already know what's happening and what actually happens, I'm still petrified that somebody's going to jump out at me or the last thing I want is a jump scare. I hate jump scares so much, yet I thoroughly enjoy the Five Nights at Freddy's games. It's just... Every time, every time I turn around, I'm worried that somebody's going to be standing there. I am so glad I'm not wearing a jumper this time around. Because the fear is making me hot as hell. Yeah. That's the game that I already had running, so I'm actually gonna create a new save file so that once this video is done, I'll be able to continue from where I already was. Which... Which would be great. Um, I keep stopping because I'm pretty sure I'm hearing stuff in the house, but it's clearly just me. Ugh. Just me being a slight coward. What a freak out. Alright. this guy give me a break Pete hey I only work with professionals speaking of which make sure the sound is right this time I don't want a repeat of Amarillo that was two fucking years ago I don't do ADR this is actually pretty cool this new guy I'm not feeling it again just don't be surprised if we have to make a change I quite like how you're watching a video but yeah. you're kind of controlling the character in the video first then we shoot the intro just like we always do just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Ecstatic. I don't like how that's swinging, but like, the leaves aren't rustling. Like if it was a breeze, surely the leaves would be moving as well. I mean, heck. It could just be that they didn't have time to animate the leaves moving as well. Get out of the way. But it adds to that creepy vibe, that's for sure. Oh, it's locked. After you. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not Hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. They were quiet, not back. Mm -hmm. A lot of bad rumors yeah. about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! I know I should have worn my good shoes. Why did he wander off on his own? Oh, shit. Glad I had my shot. Although. This would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Andre! Yeah, you see, the Andre. first time I 
didn't actually Wait, watch Wayne Andre went. But I I just Where is he? This time I did see he disappeared out this way. This is the last time I worked with that guy. Oh sorry, dude. I mean producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy? You stick with me. I definitely am. If something comes up, I'm pushing you in the way, dude. And I'm running for my life. I did another heart rate count. Just in the beginning as we came into the house, it's dropped back down to normal. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? But I can guarantee it's gonna lift any minute now. Andre? Where the fuck is he? I actually still have some coffee, but I kinda don't wanna drink it. Cause it tends to make me this skittish in situations like this. I might just save it until afterwards. I just want clear access to the door, so... I just want to run. What the hell? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. I've actually moved through this a lot quicker. I got right up in his butt just then. I've moved through this a little bit quicker than my first playthrough, which will be nice. I might have the chance to actually explore a little bit further next time. Uh, you first. Nah. Need a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. You're just a coward. So, uh, you first. Not. Nah, I'm equally as much of a coward as what you are, dude. I don't want to go down here. I think I'm, what do you see? What is it? I can feel the heart rate picking up again. That's what it is. Oh, it's so. Oh, I hate this so much. Now I'm gonna have to go through there because everything else is locked. Jesus, I'm like really gonna like. Try and speed run the beginning of this. I mean, unfortunately, that means I get a little bit further and I can freak out some more. But hey, it might be fun. All the creaks and the groans and everything are really adding to it. It's petrifying. Oh. My question is how do I get back up if so many rungs on the ladder are broken? I'd love to know, like, how long ago did all this happen if the blood is still fresh? Oh. <clears throat> Water is not my friend when it's this murky. The graphics are really nice with it though. Oh! Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure that got me the first time. Me the first time too and I was anticipating it you jerk and it still got me come on let me let me out let me out please thank you oh. this is so gross I probably have like another heart rate count coming up 
Okay. Um. Uh. I kind of just had a bit of a cold shiver. Um. I said it in my last video, and I'll say it again. Um. Didn't want to sound unfair, but it had been three years, I would have just accepted the fact that perhaps she was gone. Yeah. But no, I had to come and save her. Mia. I want to know what turned means, and it looks like Mia's the only one who's still alive. I want to know what turned is. Panic is real. Is she? Mia, thank God I found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? I'd love to know how she's the only one still alive. You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Is here. What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! Yeah, I'm sticking right close to her because. Where are you taking me? Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone for three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? Yeah, I'm staying close, not not because I'm a coward, but I'm kind of a coward. Just currently. Jeez, I can't believe I used to think Resident Evil 3 was scary. I, I would what is I'd happily say that right now. What they do to you? Not now. You need to get out of here first. I think it's this way. Alright, sticking close. Oh, so gross. So manky, I'd love to know what's going on here. But at the same time, I'm kind of happy and ignorant bliss. Oh, he's keeping the shoes. Why do you want the shoes? Mia, we have to talk. That message you sent me. Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything that I know. We have to go this way. Mia, are you sure you know where you're going? Family used to bring me food through here. I remember. I don't like being stuck in tight spaces. Hey, hey, wait up, don't don't leave me, please. There. It's there. This is it. I remember this room. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. She's panicking, but I can't see the outline of it. Now that you're here, there's another door here. I'm sure of it. Mia. We gotta get out of here. Just stay here, all right? And have a look around. The veins on his hand are like really dominant. Gee. Can I get an autosave or a save or something? Because I would love to just stop now because I'm, I'm still as scared as I was the first time. If 
if we're under the house. I think somebody's back upstairs. These are a little creepy. Are they meant to be like the victims, maybe? Oh gosh. What? Uh, can I just have two seconds to like look once more in here? Okay, it was pretty much nothing. Um. Yeah, no. The heart rate's pretty up there. Uh, I, d I, d I don't know if I want to go through that door right now. Um, this is kind of where I stopped last time, but I might just try and have a peek, but I am freaking out. Oh, why? No, it's really dark. Oh my... Oh, what the fuck? No. 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 Oh. My hands are sweating really badly, and I'm playing with a controller, which does not make it very comfortable. Oh. Okay. Okay. I certainly... Shh, shh. Okay. I just wanted to say I certainly made it a lot further than I did last time. The phone's gonna be dead, isn't it? Shh. Yeah, it's dead. <sighs> okay. Please tell me this. Is there a save point? It just auto saved. Which could be a bad thing or it could be a good thing. Oh my gosh, it's a guest house, okay. Oh, my hands are sweating so badly. Ah, if it's hit an autosave, I, I might want to just stop there. But, um,. Mm. I kind of just want to take the coward's way out and end this video now. I mean, there was a warning in the front. That said, if you start to feel uncomfortable, you should probably take a break. And, um... Yeah. Yeah, uncomfortable is, is probably the word I would use right now. Shh. Time is, is uh, time's kind of up for this video. I do kind of want to know where that knocking's coming from, though. But I might. I think I'm just gonna leave things here, and um, yeah, because I got a new door to go through. So you know what? I'm just going to leave things here and I'm going to take the coward's way out because um, I have already been playing for over half an hour and I try not to make my videos too long because I know that sometimes they can get a little bit boring um, and I am quite the coward currently so it's probably not that fun to listen to. Just there we go. Um, in the end my heart rate was only a max of 109. Uh, and honestly, the first run through I had my max was 120 because I freaked out quite a bit. Um, but I'm going to leave it here. I'm very freaked out. My heart's racing. My palms are very sweaty. And um, I will definitely be making another video of this when I've calmed down a little bit. So I will definitely be seeing you guys in the next video.